All right. Let's try this again. It's okay. Five minute countdown. Well, we get someone to join us. How are we doing this evening? We're going to give it another couple of minutes before we start tearing into these boxes. We, uh... I misplaced my third card stand. I'm going to have to get some more. Um, boy, that stream is ugly, eh? What's going on, Chessie? Pixelated as, as uh, what I'm seeing on my computer, but uh, I guess there's not much that can be done for it. Declined. All right. I'm not sure what happened. Your thing popped up there, Chessie. That just hit the accept button. But trying to refresh. It might be my computer. Woof. How's the stream for you, Chessie? Well, it's going to have to do, I guess. Um, I think you're the only one watching anyways, Chizzy, so you're, we're going to jump into it, man. Uh, I'm going to end up uploading this to the YouTube channel afterwards anyways. Um, sorry about the face flipping the camera around like that. Um, I just threw a couple of cards up in the background. So these were the two cards that uh, I ended up buying that um, collection specifically for. So the Ichiro and the Pujols rookie. 
Um, would have been nice if there were tens, but wasn't going to happen. Uh, I'll jump. I'll start with the hockey since I got Chesy on the video. Um, I know you're you're particularly interested, hoping that I pull some of the arm cards out of here, because um, I know you're uh, you're working on the. The bounty, the chase—I don't know what they're called, but um, I'll let you know if I have anything come out of it. What, what I'm looking for. Um, so, 2019-20 ta uh, upper deck artifacts. Um, these hobby boxes are pretty good. So, for the money, you're getting three hits plus the you typically one rookie redemption card, which could be an auto, could be a jersey, could just be a regular rookie uh, numbered rookie card. So. Uh, hopefully we get a couple autos. I know you're hoping for the Aram bonus cards, but uh, I'm I'm hoping for for autos out of here. Uh, looks like there is another thing on there. I'm gonna end up having to readjust this camera and my chair a million times, so I apologize for those of you watching. Um, <laughs> afterwards, it's gonna be. Uh... There we go. Just trying to fix my chair. You're probably hearing it go up and down. So, uh, before we jump in, you've got four cards per pack, eight packs per box. If you want to pause it, there you go. There's all the odds. Here's that bounty program for the uh, the Aurums, Aurums, Aurums. I don't know how to pronounce that. So you've got four packs here, four packs here, eight packs total. Um, I got sleeves. I got well. I'll uh, I'll swap out those those baseball with our best hits. And I'm gonna I'm actually gonna adjust the camera down a little bit, just make it a little bit easier for me to uh, to show those cards there. So I've I've been a big fan of the the artifacts in the past. Got a big chunky card in it. Uh, it's just a placeholder. Jasper Brat. So obviously, out of this, uh, out of this product, if you're looking for rookies, um, your top two rookies: Quinn Hughes, Capo Caco, uh, Kirby Dotch, and Alex Turco would have been pretty, pretty good. I know I've a couple other good ones um, from this draft class. Obviously, it's still a little early for a lot of these guys to really be impact players, but any of the top few rookies would be good to have. Um, there's Vasilevsky. Uh, I wouldn't be, I would, I don't think he deserves the uh, the Vesna personally. I think Hellebuck does, but I would not be surprised if Vasilevsky wins it this year. There's a Shifley out of 699 and the Tomas Hurdle. I'm just going to stack these up unless we have something really nice come out of here, then we'll stop and sleeve them up. There's a Max Patch already on the back. So another spacer card, Mark Stone on the front. Here's our rookie redemption. Minnesota Wild. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, who did the Wild pick? Minnesota Wild. It should be Matthew Boldy. Um, just a regular artifacts redemption. Not like an emerald or a special one. Ryan McDonough. And there's that Max Patch right we saw. Not who we were hoping for for the redemption, but they, this product is pretty well known for its redemptions. Um, we haven't hit any of those three. We've got, what, six packs? We haven't hit any of them. There's one. I'll move that to the back. Here's a Tyler Johnson. Jacob Silverberg. Patrick Line. And our artifact. It's a purple. Rudolph Balsers, 2 of 15. So nice short print, big chunky patches. That's a sweet looking card. Congratulations. 14 whole points, minus 7, which is not all that surprising considering he plays for the Senators. But nice, uh, nice low number, 2 of 15. Pretty purple, and we'll, we'll throw that in. Sleeve, 
Boy, these are thick sleeves and they still don't want to take this card. That is one thick card. Two three color patches. I like that. Throw Rudolph there. I don't know where he where he was drafted. Put him in the head early, I imagine. Uh, do you know Chesney? Do you know where he was drafted? It's not a first round pick. Let's see, do I have the chat up? There we go. So there's one of our hits. It was not an Aurum or it's not a spacer there. Jason Zucker. There's a Connor Hellebuck out of six ninety nine. My uh, my pick for the Vesna this year. Tyler Sagan and Mitch Marner of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Just gonna put those off camera. So we have another two uh, two cards here. So we'll have either an autograph, a patch, or a bonus Aurum card. Uh, two two of those. There's a Jake DeBrusque on the back. Local sports has not been too kind to him. That's a spacer. Craig Anderson. Oh, there we go. Vancouver Canuck. Number 81 out of 99. Dual relic. Brock Besser, one of my favorite players in the league. It's weird they get that spacer in there and that real chunky card and that Jake DeBrusque. So only four, three cards came out of that pack. That one tricked me. I was sure there was uh, there was no a relic in there. I really like I really like Jake DeBro. I mean, um, Brock Besser. So, 2015 draft class. We all know the Bruins, our uh, local team here, passed over Besser in order to take Jake DeBrusque, who was the last card in that pack. Um, Zach Sneshin and uh, Jacob Zaboral, all three of which skated today for the Bruins. Um, going into their round robin games. Got a Svechnikov, another player I really, really like. Alexander Radulov. Milan Lucic out of 299. It's a bronze. And a Toivo Teravainen. A lot of good young players in the league. What is that on the desk here? Something came out of, fell off my hands or something. So we have either an Aurum, an autograph, or another patch card. If if we see, ooh, all right, we got a Matthew Kachuk. We got a Teddy Bluger, blue rookie, fifteen out of forty-five. Patrice Bergeron, Bergy. That'll go right into my personal collection. Love Bergeron. And a Braden Shen. So this last pack should have something in it. I'm guessing it's probably one of those Orem cards. If not, it's a Jersey card. Um, it'd be cool if we get a couple of autos out of this pack. Huh. So it is. It's a. It's another patch card. Mark Giordano, Nicholas Backstrom, and Zach McEwen. Gold relic, rookie card. Uh, Four ninety nine. Another Canucks player. Not quite the Brock Besser. We will sleeve it up, but I'm not gonna swap either of those cards back there out. So our big hit out of that box was the Rudolph's Balser. I don't know how good a player he is. It's not a player I'm super familiar with. Um, but 2 out of 15. Dual Relic Autograph Rookie Card. It's always good getting stuff like that. Obviously we're hoping he turns into something special. If we're, uh, if we're being honest. Obviously we don't want these cards coming out being garbage. So Artifacts is always good. You always have these big hits. So we got a, we got a star player. Who should be a good player in the league for a long time? Brock Besser, nice uh, league sniper. Um, and then again, we get this purple dual relic rookie autograph, number two of fifteen. So super short on that print there. And uh, hopefully we one up it with this tops gold. So 
I know we're not doing too hockey. I've been I've been eyeballing this box of top gold for a while now. Um, this is a this is a product that really kind of it's a nice throwback to when I was a kid. So they were out of my price range when I was a kid. I, I can't remember buying very many, if any, tops gold label, um, tops gallery, tops gold label, um, the flare products. So. Back then, there wasn't a ton of high end, but the Topps Gold Label, Topps Finest, the the Chrome stuff, um, was always a little out of my price range. But I loved it. I have a couple of Topps Gold Label cards that I still have from when I was a kid that I would uh, save up my pennies and buy singles of players like Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. Um, so there's only they, it's weird. So these guys they advertise on the box 33 cards per box, um, 2019. So there's some good rookies out of that 2019 draft class. Love to pull a Pete Alonzo rookie card out here. A um, ton of good autos. These have that those framed autograph cards. Um, Cardboard Connection says that there's 35 cards per box, which is a little weird. I'm hoping that we only have 33, and one of them is a big old hit. Nothing else I know in there. So I'm like super jazz to open these up. So you got your seven packs. See, this one's real thick. We'll save that for last. That's probably going to be that. Uh, probably going to be the auto in there, unless we get multiple hits. We'll save that for last. So, top gold label, higher end baseball product. Not like super high end. There's a Barry Larkin on the back. So, really sharp looking cards. Um, you can see it says class one. The, each one of these boxes comes with a, there's a black, the black is one and two. And then obviously as you get up high, class two and class three, they're, they're harder to come by. And there are um, different variations of these. And you'll see them as we go through. There's a Robbie Alomar, Chris Davis. Double check to make sure that we don't have any class two stuff. Well, that's a class three. Chris Davis wouldn't have been. There's a class two black Mickey Cabrera and a Barry Larkin. I don't think these are numbered though. Unless I'm just not seeing it. That's a sharp. That's a really pretty looking card, Mickey. Future Hall of Famer talking about that with our local card shop guy today. Um, I'm going to double check the, I didn't show you guys the odds. So you can, again, pause the video. I'm going to I'm gonna upload this to the YouTube channel afterwards as well. So you can see here, class one parallel, one, two for black. Um, let's see, uh, there's one of six for the black. So you're going to get one per box. So that, that Miggy's uh, going to be our... Probably our only black. There's an Ozzy Smith. I'm just hoping we don't get a Cedric Mullins autograph out of here. That'd be a bummer. There's a Blake Snell. Roberto Clemente. Chipper Jones, class one black. There's a Joey Votto, numbered 120 out of 150. So that's a blue class one. And Ozzy Smith, class two. I love that about these cards. You get... It's not a, it's not a huge, deep... Um, player pool, which is nice. You don't have as many garbage players in there. Although there is a Cedric Mullins in there. There's Brendan Rogers rookie card. There's a Mookie Betts. That's a, a class one, by the way. There's a Michael Kopech rookie card. Future that White Sox rotation. Clayton Kershaw, class three. He's batting. I don't know if that's a variation or not. Uh, let me see. So, and there's a Yusei Kikuchi Mariners rookie card. So, I'm just going to double check the back of these to see. Yeah, they don't put the. Uh, that's something that Nike typically does is puts those little numbers on the back to let you know if it's a short print or not. That's a cool card. Clayton Kershaw batting. Might be a base, I'm not sure. I didn't. Uh, I didn't take too much time to look. A couple checks. They, they said that the the packs, the autos have less cards in them. It's 
Kyle Tucker. Maybe that's a book down there. That would be cool. I never opened anything like that. Aaron Judge. Steven Strasburg. Here's a cool card. Ernie Banks, black. Austin Riley. I don't think this is a hot box. We're definitely getting more of those black uh, border cards and blue than we're, I expected us to see out of these six packs. Um, I didn't show you the back of the cards. I'll show you the back of the cards as well. Hey, there's uh, there's Big Poppy on the front there. You can see on the back. Gives you a little career blurb. Average season, career best, and career totals. Then you get your little uh, position and vitals at the top. Barker Bueller. There's a Roger Clemens. Disgraced former Red Sox ace. George Springer, class three, and a Ricky Henderson. So lots of lots of class two and class threes. So that last pack here is super thick. I'm assuming that that's going to be our autograph. It would be cool if we had multiple hits in here. Trey Turner, Buster Posey, Mike Piazza. Chris Bryant, black, class two. And a G and Carlos Stanton. Uh, you know, it really does feel like a hot box, doesn't it? We've had almost every pack has had a black. I'll have to go back and check that. There's that gold border in there. It's not a Cal Ripken, because that is that is a that those are chunky, chunky cards. So we get the Cal Ripken and we get so that is a curtain. That uh, Kershaw is a little different. We got our blue border. It's a Braves player. One of one, Chipper Jones. Holy crap. That is sick. That is unbelievable. I got the chills. I'm glad the camera is between me and the card. I hope I didn't just spit on it. That's nuts. Guys, that's a Hall of Famer, one of one, on-card auto relic. That is insane. I had to sleeve that up, put in a nice thick. We were talking about it with the local card guy. I said, I've had bad luck with these. Uh, I'm not shaking, am I? I've had bad luck with these lately. And uh, that is that is unbelievable. That's a beautiful card, one of one. Golden Greats Framed Autograph Relic. One of one auto relic. Holy crap. I want to put that in the sleeve here, guys. Bear with me a moment. I'll put that back on the camera. Do I have anything thick enough for that? i got to have something gigantic, huh? I'm not sure I have anything uh, floating around here. I know I have a couple of real thick card sleeves put away. You have to be really careful with it. That's beautiful card. So, hey guys, I told you I was super excited for this. I almost didn't buy this box. He mentioned to me that a couple of people were interested in buying it. Um, surface of the card looks really nice. I love those gold borders. That is beautiful. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. i got to get this thing protected here before something happens to it. Um, that is that is one of one. That's crazy. Well, thanks, Chipper. Great. So that's, I know a lot of people, Mickey Mantle's the greatest switch hitter of all time, but true switch hitter, Chipper Jones, the greatest switch hitter of all time. That's my opinion. And, uh, yeah, that's a Hall of Famer, one of one Hall of Famer coming out of a pretty awesome box. So, that is awesome, guys. These are our two big hits. I mean, that's cool, too. Two out of 15, but that is a one of one. I am. I'm shaking a little bit. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. Get this thing protected. Throw this up on YouTube. I appreciate you guys visiting with us. Obviously, I'm going to I'm gonna say that this top school definitely takes the cake for tonight's video, but a lot of cool stuff coming out of here. Um, I'm going to try and do a throwback Thursday. I know it's probably won't end up being on a Thursday, but uh, my, my I still have that box of... Um, 93 
93, I'm, I'm having a hard time thinking here, guys, uh, 93 triple play that I was going to do with my stepson, so we're definitely going to do that soon, um, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in our next video, and we appreciate you checking in. Thanks, have a good one.